My name is Dan Bryan. I'm a disaster dog handler in training. My dog is Artemis. She is a one-year-old black lab, and she is a live find disaster dog. Uh, her job is to go into disaster areas where people might be buried or uh, unconscious and find the survivors. So if a tornado comes through here or we get some kind of uh, building collapse, she actually is training to go onto that rubble and look for people. It's a lot of work, a lot of time hiding in concrete pipes and uh, under places and in, uh, in barrels and uncomfortable spots um, and working with people and other people and their dogs to, to do the same thing there. There's three ways that we search for people in a disaster area or a collapsed building. We have called a physical search where we actually send people and they're just, they're looking for uh, signs of life. Well, if they're buried under a roof or under a wall, it's going to be tough to find anyone, especially if they're not able to respond to a, to a call. Um, the other side is the technical side, where we go in and we take what's called a DELSAR, which is an acoustic and seismic, a seismic monitoring system, uh, and a search cam to look inside every single hole, see if there's someone in there. That takes a long time just to get the equipment on scene and get it set up. With a canine, I can clear a uh, 6,000 square foot building in about two minutes, move on to the next area. So it is a much more uh, efficient way to search a large area and lets us find victims much quicker. She's one of the few dogs in this area that does this, um, and to my knowledge, only one that we'll be able to deploy locally. And having one in this area takes down the travel time for other teams. Now, other teams are coming from two to eight hours away, plus their uh, deployment time. So having a dog in this area is just a, a major thing.